coming to the important part. So what is a hook? We need to know because we've talked so much about a hook and how it's very important and why it should always be there. So a hook is an attention grabber. It is part of the introductory paragraph, like I've already told you. It's usually the first opening sentence in the introductory paragraph. And it can be more than one sentence. It doesn't have to be just one. It can be more than one. And you'll see in the later slides how it can be more than one. Again, in a hook, usually it comes at the beginning of an essay's introductory paragraph, consists of an intriguing or a vivid fact, like I told you before. It could be a detail, it could be an anecdote that introduces the essay topic. So it could be, it could be anything that tells you a little more about what's going to come, but in a very interesting manner. The idea is to grab the reader's attention. So that is extremely important. So hooking your reader. Now, literally what a hook does with a hook, you catch fish. But what is this hook? A hook is an opening line that gets the reader's attention. Some ways to start your essay and hook your audience. Like I told you before, an anecdote, which could be a short story. And uh, you will be seeing an example of that in one of the later slides. It could be a personal reflection, something that happened to you that makes it very realistic. It could be a fragment of words or phrases. Even this intrigues the reader because if you're just going to write a few words or a few phrases, they're going to be very interested and want to read more. It could be famous quotations. Uh, it could be a very shocking statement or a fact. And it could also be a question. So when you ask a question, then immediately the person wants to know the answer. So he will keep reading. Tips to writing an effective hook. So there are many tips that you can follow to writing a good hook. You need to first read, read, and reread the prompt before writing the hook. So what is the prompt? The prompt is your question, your topic. What is it about? So sometimes we can lose the idea when we start writing. So the best thing is to keep it in front of you all the time and keep going back to it and reading it and rereading it. Am I on track? Am I doing the right thing? Am I writing in the right way? And that will keep you on track. Think of questions you would like to ask about the topic. OK, so that is what you want to do. What are the questions you would like to ask your readers? How would you get your readers interested? Make a list of these questions. And by doing so, then you're narrowing down your topic. So then it helps you not to go off at a tangent, not to go off topic. So it will keep you on track. Choose the most important question for you from the list. Which one is the best question? Which one is going to excite the reader's curiosity? Try to find out information about it. And you can use this information. You don't have to put it all in the introductory paragraph. In fact, you can't. So you can keep all that information that you thought you could need answers for and continue them in the body paragraphs. So you have a lot of material then to add to your body paragraphs. Then decide whether you want to keep that question as a hook. Is it powerful enough? Or you have to change it into a statement. You can make it into a, or look for a statistic or look for a quote that is related to your question. Now, here are some excellent uh, essay hooks. There are seven over here, uh, given, given from academicwritingsuccess.com. The first one talks about an interesting question hook. Ask a question that relates to your essay or paper, what we just spoke about. Make sure it's a question where the audience needs to read the essay to get the answer. Don't, don't make it a very obvious question that they would know the answer to and they wouldn't need to read further. So make sure it's a question that will make them so curious that they would want to read more. Second one, have a strong statement hook. Write a sentence or a group of sentences that makes an assertive claim about your essay topic. This is a fact, and this is what I'm writing about. So it has to be assertive or powerful enough. Make sure this question connects to your thesis statement, OK? It should not be off topic. Three, find a statistic hook. Now, this can be very powerful if you get good statistics from the correct sources. Start your essay with a true fact or a statistic about your topic. Make sure your fact comes from a very credible source. Very, very important. Don't use a statistic that is not reliable. So it has to be taken from a reliable source and quote the statistic as well as give your source. A metaphor or a simile hook. Write a metaphor that makes a direct comparison between your topic and something that is different. And you will see later an example of this. Or use a simile by adding like or as between the topic and something different. So examples of statistic uh, similes and metaphors, we've already done in uh, pieces of literature. You can choose something like that if it relates to your topic. A story hook. Begin your essay with a short story or episode that connects to your writing topic. 
as we said before, the short story could be taken from somewhere or it could be your own personal reflection. Make sure you can use this type of hook for that writing assignment. Then you have a description hook. Write a vivid description of a scene or a setting that draws your readers into your writing. So a beautiful description written very vividly with a lot of wonderful adjectives can really make your uh, readers very interested. Have the description hook tie into the rest of the essay. So whenever you're using any hook, make sure that it does connect to the topic of your essay, that it's not completely disconnected. Just because you found something that was a very nice piece of, uh, of a description, don't just put it in there, put it in there because you liked it, but it has to connect or relate to your topic. A quotation hook, begin your essay with a powerful, with a striking or a memorable quotation. Quote the person's words directly. It can be a quotation from a famous person, but it doesn't have to be. So make sure the quotation is relevant, again, to your essay topic. Being relevant is extremely important. And put it in quotation marks and also tell us where the quote is from or who 